happened, I didn't know what to do. So, for a moment, I sat there in shock. I was scared and confused. I had just become the victim of a crime. Uh, um, I, I would like to report a crime. I'm at three, five, six, West Ninth Street. Uh, he just left, but he might come back. I don't remember how long it took, but once the police arrived, they had so many questions. Uh, he was about six foot tall, uh, brown hair, blue eyes, light skinned, and he took off running that way. Uh, he was in a blue car sedan. I, I didn't get the plate number, but my neighbor, um, they have a security camera at the at their door and they might have captured something. During the interview, they asked me to describe the culprit. Height, weight, race, gender, hair color, eye color, identifying marks. They had me describe the incident from start to finish in detail. Asked me what car he drove, what direction he headed, if there were any witnesses. It was very thorough. Then I was handed a Marcy's Law card. This is a detailed list of rights that you have as a victim provided by the law. It also has resources listed down at the bottom that will help you moving forward. Victims of crimes have rights? Yes, in California, victims have 17 specific rights under the Constitution. This summarizes those rights for you, and if you have questions, you can utilize your resources listed at the bottom. Okay, thank you. If you remember anything else or realize you made a mistake, please give me a call immediately to amend your statement. Having accurate information is going to help us catch the perpetrator. It's also going to help the DA to determine whether or not to bring criminal charges and what those charges will be. What do you mean, if the DA decides to bring criminal charges? Why wouldn't the DA bring criminal charges if the perpetrator's caught? Even if we catch a suspect, we can only make recommendations to the DA. Deciding whether or not to bring criminal charges and what those charges will be is at the DA's discretion. This didn't sit well with me at the time. I was afraid and I wanted to feel safe again. I just wanted all of this to be over. When we finished talking, they went on to interview my neighbor, took pictures and collected evidence. I looked over my Marcy's Law card to get an idea of what came next and what my rights were. The rights listed covered so much. My treatment during the investigation and my options during the trial and sentencing. There were even rights that covered the culprits in incarceration and parole. This is when I realized that although the crime was now in the past, my experience as a victim was just beginning.